Hi guys and welcome back. This is your girl Bird and today we are going to do a deep dive into all of the things that you can get sewing related from Walmart. From notions to patterns to sewing machines, fabric supplies, the Cricut, yarn and more. Let's start with the fabric area. Now this Walmart is about 30 minutes away from me and it is a fairly large Walmart. In the fabric area there are a variety of one yard pre-cut fabrics to choose from in different colors. There were definitely a number of bolts available. You can see that it's about $2.50 a yard, so very reasonably priced. Different colors, mostly cottons here in this particular row. This is another really pretty one, a really gorgeous purple, also about $2.50 a yard. So Pricing is good, um, definitely probably cheaper than you can get from most places, and it is cotton. On the other side, there are pre-cut cottons, um, basic colors. These are two-yard fabric cuts. It is a poly cotton. I thought it felt pretty good. These are for tote bags to me or lining other things, depending upon what project you're working with. This area, there are upholstery materials. There were some. I was pleasantly surprised to find leather. This is faux leather, and there are a couple colors, not a ton of colors, but honestly, more than I will necessarily maybe find in a local Joann's, but definitely some faux leather on hand for making bags. I'm not sure I would use this for garments, but certainly I think for bag making. Quality was, I think, decent enough for those things. Again, I wouldn't use it necessarily for garments. Moving down a little bit further, this is a really pretty silky type material. Let me pull this down and get a better look at it. Looking at the end of the bolt, it looks like it is a polyester, which is what I thought a lot of times because it feels silky, you think it's a silky satin, but this is definitely 100% polyester. I'm not a big fan of it because it doesn't really breathe all that well. There is some tool, different colors of tool, also very reasonably priced as well. Remember what you find may be different in each store. Oh, so there's a little tiny bit of sequin fabric. Um, feeling and touching is very important. I'm not sure that I would vouch for the quality of this fabric, but certainly it is there. This Walmart had a fairly decent supply of sewing machine needles. And you definitely should change your sewing machine needle on a regular basis and also use a machine that is appropriate for the fabric that you're using. Another section of pre-cut fabric, these are pattern fabrics, a lot of cottons as well. Reasonably priced for uh, one yard. Again, these are I think they're kind of cute, just depending upon the project that you're working on. As far as shears are concerned, I thought Walmart had a decent variety. I like Fiskars. They have done me well. Um, and Fiskars is, I think, a fairly reasonably priced product, and it performs pretty well. Here are rotary cutters as well, also a generally decent selection of them. Down here, you will see there are a number of different cutting mats. And as we move on, lots and lots and lots of different sewing items here in my local Joann's. Buttons, trims, ribbon. I don't use a lot of that, but certainly there is a fair share with different colors. We have some patches. I think these are mostly iron-on. Some may be sew-on. You can see the prices very, very reasonably priced. Now, I would not recommend Walmart for thread. Uh, for me, I prefer Gudeman's thread, and this is mostly Coates and Clark. It's reasonable, but honestly, I prefer to use Gudeman. It's not much more expensive, especially if you're able to get it on sale. The pattern cabinet is color coordinated, so yellow for costumes, bright pink for craft and home, green for tops and bottoms. Here's another color chart that you will find on top of the cabinet. Super easy to find the things that you are looking for. 
And the patterns, I found a Sim Simplicity Mimi G pattern that's packaged specifically for Walmart. You have a QR code for so along and the price is every day $5.97. So that is a pretty, pretty decent deal. And you know, I love a Mimi G Simplicity pattern. The numbering is a little bit different for Walmart as well, not your normal numbering, but the system is really great to find whatever pattern you're looking for. Here's the catalog that was available on the inside. You'll find that color coding system and also a QR code that will give you information about sewing tutorials. I do love the color coding system. And as I open up the drawers, you can see that they're all organized by color and arranged in order. So it does indeed make it a lot easier for you to find the patterns that you are interested in. I do hope that Walmart continues to grow their pattern area. All right, y'all, I had to take you into the yarn department because whenever I visit a store, people are always dropping in the comments, what about the yarn? I am not a knitter or nor do I crochet, so I can't really speak to the quality of the yarn at all. Can't tell you whether or not it's reasonably priced. It's in Walmart. I'm assuming it's reasonably priced. There seem to be a fair share of variety. Um, the colors did speak to me, but again, I'm going to leave that up to you guys who happen to be yarn specialists. And you can let me know in the comments what you think about the quality of yarn. But certainly, there's some pretty ones here. I have a bit more to share with you, but if you are new to me, please do me a big favor and subscribe. I have two other areas to share with you. So Walmart has a sewing machine aisle. I started off with a brother. It is a great sewing machine to kick off your sewing journey. I still hold on to it. It is my backup machine. Um, these are reasonably priced as well. They had a couple different. They also have the surge. This is where I started as well. 1034 DX. Totally great serger. There is a Cricut section. So you have the Easy Press. You also have the Explorer 3. You can do so many fun things to add to your creative projects, your makes, your tote bags, and the like. They had all of the different, or many, I will say, of the tools that you will need if Cricut making is something that you love. And I do love to add that. That's it, guys. Happy sewing. Bye bye for now.